Hello everyone, Scrapple King Sandra here, and I am back with a 10-minute Monday layout. I began with matting my photos on a deep blue cardstock by Creative Memories, and my background cardstock is by American Crafts. I thought adding washi tape to this would really give it a little bit of layers without um, like losing time without taking up a lot of time. It's really easy, very simple, fun to work with, and it can really dress up a layout in just a quick matter of time. And the washi tape is by Tim Holtz. And I'm also going to use his tissue paper. That little hole in my background cardstock had the um, journaling card that is on the sister page, which I'll show you at the end of this layout. And that ATG tape worked really well on with the tissue paper. It doesn't show through. Um, it laid it down real easily. It doesn't rip or tear. It was nice to, to use with that. I liked it. Again, I was surprised. And these photos are from 1990 um, honeymoon shots that were taken in Hyhannisport. Uh, the title of this page is called The Sea. And that boat on the right is actually the Kennedy family boat. And uh, this marina was near where we were staying. It was beautiful here. We went out every single day sightseeing, checking out all the lighthouses, going to nearby um, uh, places and shopping, 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 and eating, eating, eating. That black wavy paper is from Craft Smith. And I pulled my uh, journaling card from uh, Tim Holtz paper, a paper pack, and just cut off a piece of a 12 by 12 and used that as my journaling card here. And all my brads are from Prima Seashore collection. They're all really cute. They have something written on it like, um, ahoy, <laughs> and the adventure begins, and that uh, gold button actually fell off a coat of mine and I took the little hook off the back. It kept falling off. It would not stay on my coat. So finally I just said, no more. <laughs> I'll find something else to use it for. So here it is. <laughs> And there goes my ATG tape. It's empty. And I put all the little brads up with, um, a little pop-up dot. A lot of times I'll glue it. I'll take the little metal piece off the back and then I'll use a hot glue gun to put it down with. But I wanted it to pop up just a little bit more so I used pop-up dots and I liked it a lot. I'll probably do that in the future over a hot glue gun. And these little metal strips along the side, they're also from Tim Holtz. 
my letters are my title are also Tim Holtz. So a lot of Tim Holtz in this uh, this layout. And that's not bad on the time. Look at that. I beat the clock. But when I looked at this, I kept thinking, what else should I do to it? Because the sister page, I added a little color to it, as you can see, some paint. And I debated for a little bit, but I really liked the page the way it is without any paint. And um, just to keep it, oh, it looks very classic. So there you have it. And I'll have some stills coming up for you in just a minute. Thank you so much for stopping by. There's a nice close view of it. Got my butterfly in there because I love butterflies. <laughs> anyway, thank you again for stopping by and I will see you next time. Have an awesome day. Happy scrapbooking.